Managing growth and traffic were top of mind for voters in Oviedo during last week's mayoral election, especially when it comes to everyone wanting to keep Oviedo's small town feel intact. It is something many small cities in central Florida are working to preserve in the midst of our population boom. Easier said than done, of course. And with an estimated 10,000 more people expected to call Oviedo home in the next decade, it's only going to be more challenging. As you drive through the heart of Oviedo, it's clear the city is in the middle of a growth spurt. Roads are under construction. New shops and restaurants are popping up. People want to live here. What makes Oviedo so special? Well, it still maintains its small town flavor while we're just growing leaps and bounds. Gail Parmalee has lived in Oviedo for more than 25 years. And while things have changed since then, she says you can still find that slice of old Oviedo. We're sitting here eating ice cream, looking at the Oviedo chickens <laughs> next to the townhouse restaurant. It just doesn't get any more small town mm -hmm. and cute than this. It's such a great place. It still has that small town flavor or places where it feels like that, oh, that Oviedo bet. from back. But then you drive down Mitchell Hammock and you see oh. all the development well, you have happening. to pick your spot. Hey, buddy, would you, do you mind talking about the growth here in Oviedo and what's happening? Do you, do you like it? No? Yes? Here. And you have to be patient on the roads. Traffic has gotten worse as the city's population has exploded. Is traffic that big of an issue to you? Well, frankly, it is yeah. because, you know, when I left, when I leave my house years ago, before all the Oviedo on the park and everything, it would take me 10 minutes to get wherever I wanted to go, and now it takes 20. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just tough, mm -hmm. you know, and the roads aren't wide enough to accommodate the growth, especially mm -hmm. out in East Seminole and East Orange. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, that's progress, I yeah. guess, and we're just going to have to roll with it. It's not feasible to build enough roads. We can't build enough roads to get out of this. Instead, Oviedo Mayor Megan Sladek wants to see more residents walking or biking to alleviate some of the congestion. About 19% of the trips in Oviedo are two miles or less. So that is our lowest hanging fruit. That's an achievable distance to get people to walk or bike. Shoring up infrastructure, specifically for public safety, is another priority for Sladek. Voters just recently rejected a ballot referendum asking if the city should borrow up to $35.5 million to help pay for a new and larger police headquarters. I don't think they showcased how badly they need it. Mm. You know, it's all about presentation. One option the city could now reconsider, moving the police department to the former Sears inside the Oviedo Mall. Will you entertain that idea now that this referendum didn't pass? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a, the only way that can work, though, is if all of City Hall moves. Our fire chief has uh, shared that he believes we need at least one, possibly two more fire stations. Mm. And one of the locations where one is most needed is right by the mall. And there is a huge push to redevelop the Oviedo Mall into what could be known as Oviedo Marketplace. In fact, next month, the city will hold a public hearing on plans to build new apartments, a hotel, and more retail on the sites of the former Macy's there.